All right. This is Elliot Trotter here with Melissa Whitmer and Mike Lawler, who have been covering the women's division. Uh, today's Friday, and we're going to talk about round two play so far. So what games have been uh, outstanding in the last round? Well, the last round, uh, there was a, a, another close game with Showdown. Uh, Showdown was up against Molly Brown, um, and that game was just a game of inches. Uh, really tight man-to-man uh, -man defense, and... Um, yeah, both teams, both teams playing well, but in the end, um, Molly Brown uh, remember Showdown, so that, uh, that uh, pool held seed, and Showdown, they just had two really tight games today. First round against Scandal, second round against Molly Brown, and now they've got a, uh, now they're fighting for their lives, they're going to be playing against Revolution in the crossover game, so that should be um, a good one to see. Okay. <laughs> Mike, what else is going on? Well, I, I had, had a great seed for the Riot Fury game. Uh, it was the last game in one of the power pools, and it was a battle, absolute battle. We, we did two interviews afterwards, uh, with Sarah, one with Sarah Griffiths, one with Nancy Sons. You should check those out when those, when those go up. Uh, Riot jumped out with a 4-1 lead, then 5-2, and they more or less trade points for the rest of the game. Fury kept trying to come back, and Riot kept holding them off. Uh, one point, near, uh, probably about 12-10, Riot worked the disc upfield in about 30 passes. Very impressive patience on an arrow to, uh, to score, and that was the real nail in the, in the coffin. Uh, so in, in this round, I'm going to be taking a look at the Capitals' Bruce uh, rematch uh, from Northeast uh, Bruce Capitals. And what do you expect? Do you think the Capitals have been performing enough this weekend? Uh, Capitals had a real rough weekend. They lost their first two games uh, yesterday, and they were down in the B pools today. So they won the B pool so to, to, to win the right to play in this crossover game. Brood had a tough game uh, in the final round against uh, Phoenix. They were down 8-2 at half and then battled back to make it close but couldn't make it all the way back. You know, I don't know what to expect. Capitals has probably – I haven't seen them today. I think their games were probably a little easier than Brutes, and uh, I think they're going to be out for revenge. So it, it'll, it'll be a serious battle. Okay, Melissa, what other games did you watch this round, and uh, what games are you looking forward to next round? Uh, the other game I watched, I watched the Scandal Traffic game, but that was a little bit anticlimactic after Scandal's win over uh, Molly Brown. Um, I think they just didn't have the energy for two really tight, intense games, and that game wasn't really crucial for them to win. So um, I think, I forget what the final score was, like 15, uh, 9, 10, something like that. Um, so uh, that was the other game I saw. Um, but, yeah, again, the game I'm going to be keeping my eye on is to see how Showdown performs after their two tough losses. They're playing Revolution, which is a real surprise. Uh, so Revolution, um, you know, definitely beating their seed this weekend. And I haven't seen them play too much at all this season, so I'm looking forward to seeing what they can do. Yeah, Revolution might be one of the stories of this tournament. I mean, they had a big win against Ozone, big win against them. So there they are in the crossover pool. Nobody expected it. I think they were the 15 seed. Wow. Wow, yeah, wow. <laughs> so they're playing way above seed. Great, good for them. All right, well, they're right in front of the Sky Tent, and we might try to stream that game a little bit. Uh, thanks so much, Melissa Whitmer and Mike Lawler for the women's division. I'm Elliot Trotter, coming at you live from Sarasota.